This is Pickle. We've been riding bikes together and he's been helping me with some videos over the last couple of days and we thought it would be a nice thing to do a video about his bike. Yes. Because it's, it's made by one of our friends. It is. And it's been a long time coming as well. It's it been was, a long time. It was a long time coming, I should say. <laughs> Not been a long time, it was a long time. Spoiler alert, this is a quirk. It's a really nice quirk. It is a beautiful quirk. With a secret. It's got a secret. <laughs> what is my secret? So it's been a long time coming, 16 years of, or more actually, of wanting a bike from being a junior and racing and not really ever having my own bike. Through his talking to Francis and, and Rob. Who's Rob? Well, Rob Quirk and Quirk Cycles. Uh, and I've never ridden steel, never owned steel. And to be brutally honest, as much as Francis has beautiful, lovely light bikes, I wouldn't change it for the world. It has a little secret. Uh, it, uh, it is Italian stainless steel. Specifically, I built it because I work at sea and I actually now live by the coast and I wanted to try and reduce corrosion as much as possible. So she is fully stainless steel unprotected um, and she should hopefully last a lifetime more than a normal steel frame. It was about another thousand pounds on top uh, for for on top of the cost of the frame set. I wanted a stealthy frame and a stealthy build that when it went past, it didn't catch your eyes, but it also made you have a second look sort of thing. You have to look twice to see what's on it and, and what it's all about. The reason why I chose the paint scheme that I have, it's actually a, a combination of two of the ones that Rob offers. Um, and it's, the best in terms of keeping it as stealthy as possible keeping all the black but if you notice where you see the naked stainless steel it's actually not painted it's raw so i can actually polish out any little chips any surface rust that develops it means that if there are any chip marks from the front wheel for instance uh, or even from the rear wheel it protect you from from the worst of the chip paint chip marks and and damage etc from just generally riding it as it is my only bike that i have that was a lot of toing and froing. Uh, I originally was gonna go with a slightly more basic finishing kit, but through talking again to Rob, just the finishing kit of Envy uh, matches the wheels, which we'll get onto in a little bit. It's just all, again, adds to that stealthy look. It, it wasn't necessarily Envy as a company. That was just the look that I was going for, and I was just happy to upgrade, and I don't look back. I'm sure they on perform it. pretty well. Oh, second to none. Better than I've ever owned, so. Tram Force, uh, the new Axis Wide, follows that very stealthy uh, build. Like red has got, as its name says, got color in it. I wanted to go with a very understated group set. So I could have afforded to go higher, but I specifically went with Force to go with that very uh, clean, understated look. And I specifically stayed with SRAM because I wanted as minimal cabling as I could get. As you can see from the pictures, I only have hydraulic hoses to deal with. For the wheels, I went with Parkours. This is where the camera can turn to the man behind the camera because it was him who advised me on Parkours. As I personally will admit, I've never heard of them. And to be brutally honest, I wouldn't never go i would honestly go for them again and if anybody was questioning wheels i would say parkours the strata is amazing i've never ridden deep section wheels before and i live quite in the countryside like north devon i get a lot of wind as well as you do up north here with francis i'm nervous with it in the wind but i actually feel very comfortable um so whatever they're doing up there or wherever they are with their wheels they've know what they're doing parkour are a sponsor of me and i'm friends with the guy who owns the company and these wheels are the stradas which are designed to work best with a 28 mil tire are you using 28 mil tires 28 mil. pickle is using 28 mil tires so um you have a very flush connection is that the right word why? What's yeah. wrong with us today? <laughs> there's a very flush thing. No, there's a flush line, but there's a flush line between the line. Yeah, there's a flush line between the That's tire wall. Term. I would have. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a line. Come on, there's a there's a flush line. It's a flush line. Look like, at that flush line. Have you ever repeated a word so many times it loses its meaning? Using a 28 mil tire means there is a very flush line between the tire and the rim. 
So it is more aerodynamic uh, and that's how they're designed to work. So you were using the correct width of tire. Brilliant, well done. Flash line. <laughs> <laughs> It all started quite small. I originally started with the, with the 1030 bundle, which is the rear wheel sensor and then the cadence sensor. Um, and then after some riding, etc., I was keen to get in knowing my, just my power output, uh, just for my general performance and Im like improving. So I upgraded myself to the pedals after I got the bike. Um, and then my most recent purchase is the, what's it called? It's a RT175 yeah. thing, I think, or it's something. It's a really like, catchy name. Yeah. Recently, I got the Garmin Varia with the radar built in. More for my comfort uh, in terms of riding. I ride in very uh, busy country lanes, single lanes, and it's far safer for me to have using my head unit to know what's behind me that I don't have to keep looking over my shoulder so it just gives me that comfort it doesn't substitute looking over your shoulder that's from Garmin by the way um, but it does give me that comfortability that I don't have to always look over my shoulder and not get surprised by someone so there you have it that is Pickles Quirk Dermator Road Bike stainless steel so it's completely unique I'm gonna put a full build list down below if you want to check out any of the parts that he's got there hope you enjoyed any questions in the comments below you can answer them. You can answer them. I can do my best, yeah. yeah. You can also talk to pigeons. Yep.